Hello, Aries, singles. <clears throat> We're going to see what's coming towards you guys energetically. Excuse me, if somebody is coming towards you energetically. For the week of the 21st through the 27th. All right. Aries singles. If you guys like this video, please hit the thumbs up button, share it, and subscribe to the channel. My Aries. What's going on for my Aries singles? We're going to pull one card for where you are currently. And then um, we're going to pull a card. We're going to do three on top for you. Where you are currently. Um, what you need to do. And what your intentions are. And then we're going to pull three cards under the bottom for the person that's coming towards you with the same idea in mind, okay? Where you are, what you need to do, and what your intentions are. Let's see. Okay. One more because that was very ugly, guys. That <laughs> shuffle. Hang on. One more shuffle. All right. Currently, you're feeling spicy, attractive, alluring. Um, I can get what I want. I know how to get what I want. Right out the bat. I like it. I like it. Yeah. You know, and I feel like you're looking for somebody to match you. You don't want somebody that's slow, not slow mentally, <laughs> but like moves at the same speed that you do, um, you know, is on the same level with you, liking to go, liking to entertain, liking to have a good time. Also, you want somebody that can match you you know, physically, you know, in the bedroom. You don't, you don't want a boring life, I feel like here. I feel like you're at a point where you're over that. What you need is to get past whatever broke your heart before, okay? It's time to let it go and heal. You're still holding on to hurt, I feel. Let's see what your intentions are. Your intentions are to still build on yourself. This is you continuing to be the best queen or king that you can be. Because this card, just because it's a queen, does not mean that this is a female energy. You could be male. Okay? They're male and in touch with your feelings. Because queens are really, you know, in touch with their feelings. They function out of an emotional side here so and I feel like if you are a male functioning out of your emotional side and you've, you're coming off a broken heart okay you're still trying to heal you're still trying to get back to you but you're not doing bad okay because the queen is still the queen alright the queen and the king are they're basically you know interchangeable for me the only thing is the queen is more emotional Okay, so that's that. They, they make decisions, you know, from an emotional stance more so than the king. All right, so you're just at a point where you're just trying to work on yourself. You're trying to get your happy back. You know, you're trying to find somebody or welcome somebody in that matches you. That's, that's all you're doing. Ain't, ain't nothing wrong with that, okay? Because here we have the overall energy of this reading with the ace of wands starting something passionately wanting to begin anew with somebody that matches you okay you could also be um just trying to focus on your work you know if you meet somebody you meet somebody this could be you because the ace of wands is also you know starting a new business because the queen of wands is a business owner she runs shit, okay? All right. Oh, something just jumped out here. All right, let's see what that is, guys. Ooh. 
All right. Either you're dealing with a Capricorn energy, or this is just you <clears throat> where you were working out of fears. Um, but now I feel like you're coming out of this. This is the energy that you're coming out of where you were so focused on things from the past that bothered you, okay? And I also feel like you're working very hard on building yourself up and building your empire, building your business for those of you, okay? Focusing on yourself, all right? You're very eager to... Um, you know, get back to you. I feel like that's what that devil energy is there for. Or again, somebody could be, you know, still attached to you that brought you this three of swords energy before. All right, let's see what's going on. If somebody's coming towards you. All right. And who they are, what they need and what their intentions are. All right. Huh. Could be dealing with a Leo. could be dealing with a Leo or a Leo could be coming towards you or this is just you gaining your strength um, I feel like this is somebody that is running away from change and I feel like this person is somebody that you we're going round and round in circles within a cycle and that's probably where that um, three of swords came from there hmm yeah that's exactly what I feel like like you were in a cycle with this individual before they're still in your energy and um, I feel like they're not trying to face the music. It's just what I'm getting. What their intentions are is to be noticed by other people. I feel like this person, strong Leo energy here. Um, this individual is all about being recognized by a lot of people. Um, they feel like they are very attractive. They, um, they feel like they can get anybody they want. And I feel like they use their money a lot to draw in people here. They are an attention whore, for lack of a better term, okay? This is somebody that's struggling not to come towards you as well. All that, although they are all up in your energy, all right? So that's what I have for you, Aries. And um, could be a Virgo, but they could be like Leo, Virgo cusp. I feel like there's Aquarius energy here with this Three of Swords. That's your energy, but it's also kind of crossing over with this person because I feel like if it's a cycle that you guys went in, then, you know, this is something that um, relates to them as well. They're just trying not to face the music here. Okay? So, Aries, that's what I have for you for, <clears throat> for this upcoming week, and um, I'll be speaking with you soon.